Jackie Chan, the fun-loving action star with some of the greatest comedic timing, stunt work, and fighting sequences of our generation. As a teenager, Jackie began doing stunt work in Hong Kong. Some of the notable movies he did were a couple of Bruce Lee films, Fist of Fury, and Enter the Dragon. It wasn't until 1973 where Jackie got his first lead role in Little Tiger of Canton, but with a limited release for the film, it really didn't gain any traction for Jackie Chan. After the failure of his first lead role, Jackie found it difficult to find any stunt work. It wasn't until 1976 where Jackie was contacted by Willie Chan, a Hong Kong film producer. Willie Chan produced many films for Jackie. In 1978, Jackie finally got a hit with Snake and the Eagle's Shadow, and later that year, an iconic Drunken Master released. These two movies were the first time Jackie had full control of his stunt work, and it demonstrated a comedic style to it. You get off! What the hell is that? What does it mean when there's a picture of a skull? Oh, good stuff. It wouldn't be long after this that Jackie Chan would propel his movie career with film series like Project A. Police Story, and Armament of God. These movies were box office hits and award-winning movies. Monkey drinks master's wine. It wasn't until 1995 that Jackie would make an impact in Hollywood with Rumble in the Bronx, with such a passionate response from American viewers. This led to the American release of Police Story 3. Then in 1998, Jackie Chan became a Hollywood star. Alongside Chris Tucker, the Rush Hour trilogy began, which propelled Jackie Chan to become a household name all around the world. Wow. Even with one of his most recent movies, The Foreigner, Jackie Chan still prefers to do all his own stunts. At the age of 66, Jackie Chan still has the energy and the ability to put a smile on your face as you watch him work. 